Now, there are many ways to love your child and discipline them the right way. Sometimes you might be so pushed you can go as far as hitting them, but there is nothing more painful to your child than saying hurtful bad words to them. Most times in the midst of frustration, in the midst of pressure, we just open our mouth to say unintentional hurtful words to our children. Hurtful things that lowers their self-confidence, that makes them cry, that makes them feel bad and even worse. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Usna Chiono and if you're seeing my face for the first time, stick right here with me, subscribe. Trust me to bring your ways, life-changing tips and so much more. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you and God bless you for your support. Now instead of making or building the relationship you have with your child, there are some hurtful things that you will say to them that just poise that destroys the relationship all the way. So moving on, I'm going to be listening to you the things that you should never What's open your mouth to life? say to your child. And the first thing on our list is you are a bad girl or you are a bad boy. Never say this to your child. Your choice of language to your child can make a very big difference. It can change things. It can switch this up real quick. So never you call your child bad. Trust me, if your child thinks they are bad at their behavior, they can always think of ways to turn around or ways to make a change and make you happy. They are likely to make amends by apologizing and committing to a change in behavior. Secondly, never ever say to your child, you are stupid. Now, if there's one word every parent will lose or should lose from their vocabulary or from their brain, is the word stupid. No matter how you present it, even if you ask your child, are you stupid? It sounds very insulting and we should never use it. Now, you want to go ahead to choose your words very wisely and carefully and decide the best approach to how not to sound judgmental and um, critical to your child. Another thing you should never ever say to your child is, I'm done with you. Don't ever tell your child that you're done with them. For God's sake, how? So to some children, like our little children, to any child that is just discovering the world, that is just growing up, the worst thing, the most agonizing experience they will feel is a small script in your words. While your instinct will be there telling you that hey, it doesn't hurt that much, it was just a, a slip of tongue the way we say it, you see that you end up worsening your child's emotional breakdown. The best thing you want to do here is to make them understand and overcome their emotions. You could go ahead to give them a warm hug or take them out. Just make them happy any way you can and um, just help them empathize the way they feel. This is the worst one I've ever come across. Don't ever say to your child, be like your brother or be like your sister or be like John. or be Comparison, like sibling rivalry can be incredibly psychologically damaging to kids. In fact, eh? Experiences in violence in our African homes, most especially, um, is mostly recorded between siblings, yes, and is less likely to be between parents and kids. So never compare your child to anyone at all, not even their own sibling. It makes them feel worthless. It makes them jealous. It raises the bar of failures in their mind. It makes them develop some kind of hatred. Or their sibling now moving on never tell your child you cannot do this don't say this you don't to want child. to ever disrupt your child's self-confidence right when you tell your child that they cannot do a thing they end up feeling like they are not good enough they are not better they are not nice they are not correct sometimes they just feel imperfect in every kind of way they might feel incompetent and um, feel some kind of unnecessary pressure that they will end up disappointing you in the future. Instead of telling your child or your children that they cannot do a thing, it is best you go ahead to encourage them to enhance their skills, to try out new activities. Go ahead to explain to them that it is the best feeling to improve on oneself and to succeed. Now, never say to your child, no one wants a kid like yes, you. In Nigeria movies, actually. Someone will say, huh. if not so picking they be, make a no born, no. I no one born. You know, never say this to your child. If your child grows up to be problematic, you as your parent is likely to be questioned and not the child. Most kids are reflection of their parents because most likely everything they've learned from their early stages, they learned it from the home. As a matter of fact, the home is the first school and we are their first teachers. So please, we might say these things as simple, basic things, but these hurtful words go in so deep in these children and it can destroy their emotional well-being. 
So we want to be mindful of the kinds of things we say to our child or children. We are their model, we are their inspiration, we are their teachers. As a matter of fact, that is the reason God has given us to them as their caregivers. We will be the one to mold them to become good people. So we must make sure to maintain a calm and age-appropriate way of approaching our babies. We want to always make sure we listen to the things we want to say out before we even put them out because we cannot take our words back. No matter how good it gets later on, we can take it back. So guys, we've come to the end of today's lesson. Thank you, Thank you very much for joining me up until now. If you enjoyed this video, do well to hit the like button. Drop a comment if you have a relatable experience. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, please. And until I see you again in my next video, hopefully, bye-bye.